Keep yourself updated. Subscribe to Vedanta and click bell icon. Hello friends, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about how to open MS Excel, how to close MS Excel, welcome screen functionalities and also we'll discuss sheet, menus, tabs, tools, so rows and columns and also about cells. Yes, now let us start with how to open MS Excel. Yes, very simple. We can open MS Excel by using two functions. One is search function and other one is a run command. Yes, from your keyboard, simply press Windows button. When you press Windows button, system is going to show a dialog box with the search bar. In that search bar, simply type EXCEL. So when you type Excel, system is going to show, system is going to display the list of applications that are matching to this spell. So here system is going to display the Excel. Simply double click on Excel or press enter on excel in order to open it now we are we are simply came back to welcome screen here i'm clicking on again close because i, I would like to show one more thing that how i can open uh, ms excel by using the second method so simply close yes the second method is that directly from your keyboard press windows plus r so when you press windows plus r system is going to open a dialog box which is known as a run command so in that run command simply type e x c e l and directly click on ok and again this is a second method that how we how we can open ms excel so in this welcome screen we can access the blank workbook and also we can access predefined templates yes in the older versions we cannot access predefined templates only in the newer version from 2016 and 2019 we can access the predefined templates in excel yes if you want to open a blank workbook simply click on blank workbook system open a blank sheet right and or else if you want to access predefined template for example if you want to create a charts for your population so you also can search a template in the internet so click on more templates and here i'm going to search for a charts so if you type charts system is going to display the list of template that are matching your text so simply here i'm going to open a chart yes you also can open a blank workbook and create tables create data and insert chart it takes a longer time right if you want to create in a fastest matter simply click on more templates and search for your desired template name and simply click on create so when you click on create that respective template has been opened with the pre pre formatted there simply you can filter the data you can change your data and just get the results right so i'm, I'm also going to close this once again yes in the next we'll just discuss about the excel sheet overview right so simply i'm going to open excel once again by using windows plus r and type excel command and click on ok yes now here i'm going to open a blank workbook and this is the excel pre sheet preview and you may see that the file home insert page load these are all known as menu bar and menus or ribbon bar or tabs if you click on insert menu system is going to display insert menu tools if you click on page layout menu system is going to display page layout tools correct next now we'll just come to down and this is known as name box or address box system is going to display the active cell address or active cell name right and this is known as formula bar that where we can type the formulas Yes, as we already know that Excel is a combination of sheets, sheet is a combination of rows and columns, correct? Yes, this is known as vertical lines, known as columns. This is column number A, column number B and column number C. And the horizontal li lines known as rows, row number 1, row number 2, row number 3. I have a doubt. In a single sheet, how many number of columns are available, right? So what is the first column number? Number A, right? So when you come forward, when you go forward, you may see that again system started with the double A, right? So likely I just wanted to know what is the last column? What is the first column? Column number A. Likely what is the last column? If you want to know that, simply type control plus right arrow. And the last column is that xfd so what is the total number of columns are available in a single sheet is at 16384 i repeat 16384 is a total number of columns in a single sheet yes to come forward to a column press ctrl plus left arrow yes 
again we'll discuss about rows so what is the first row number one row number two so when you go to down system is going to show row number 100 row number 200 like so i just want to know what is the last row if you want to know that type simply control plus down arrow the total number of rows are available in a single sheet is at 10 lakhs 48576 ensure that i repeat 16384 is a columns are available in a single sheet and again 1 to 10 lakhs 48576 is a columns are is a rows are available in a single sheet yes so when you click on sheet number two we can see the same rows and the same columns so likely how many number of sheets we can open yes there is a limit for rows and columns in a sheet but there is no limit for a sheet in excel there is no limit for sheets there is a limit for rows and columns in a sheet but there is no limit for sheets in excel right so and if you want to close ms excel simply click on the close function or else directly you also can press alt plus f4 and system is going to question you whether you like to save this sheet or or don't want to save as of now i just don't want to save if you want to save simply click on save and simply click on don't save and press enter yes this is how we open ms excel and close ms excel thank you thanks for watching keep yourself updated subscribe to vedanta and click bell icon